Okay, so we got a 2006 Hummer H3. Um, real quick, simple, easy one. We got no fan speeds on any of the settings. The lights are lighting up. So that at least lets us know that this control unit is somewhat alive. Um, so we'll just go to a customer suspects it's a, a blower motor. They said that they smacked it and it seemed to work for a while. Um, but we'll go through our testing. Um, should be nice and easy. Our, let's get that in a better spot. Our blower motor is in a semi unpleasant spot to get to. Um, let me just show you up underneath. But we can get to that relay and we can get to the resistor really easily. So we can do all our testing from there. Most times when I have a, a blower motor that's not working on any speeds, what I like to do is I like to go right at the blower either side, turn the fan on, see if I got power ground there. If it just lights up a test light on both sides. If it does, then boom, you're done. You, you know you need one of those. If it doesn't light, then you look to see what you have. Um, since we can't get to this, if we look here, our power feed comes across and goes to this brown wire of this high speed relay. So since that's placed there, that means we can test there and that's the same part as this. That doesn't mean you couldn't have a break somewhere um, between here and here, but uh, at least this gives us an indication. And then likewise, for this side here, this would be the ground side. If we follow that down, that comes to A, uh, this orange wire, uh, the blower motor uh, resistor. There's two orange wires, one on either end. But if we look at the next one, would be B, is yellow. So we want the orange wire that's closest to the yellow. Uh, so we can start with checking for ground, or power, I mean, on this brown wire at our, um, our relay for the high speed. So I just have an adapter in the cigarette lighter. I'm looking for a power, so I will switch this side of my test light to ground. I'll verify that my connections are good. So we'll just touch that brown wire and see if we have any lighting. Okay, so we'll see if I can do this without blocking the light completely. Might be a little tricky. We want that brown wire. And we do have power there. So let's look for the ground. We said we'll switch over the test light. Okay. Now we look for the ground, which we said was the orange wire of the relay or the resistor pack. The orange wire that's closest to the yellow. not light. So we didn't see anything on that orange wire out of the resistor pack and that's the one that goes to the blower motor. Um, if you see that round little uh, line there that means there's a circuit breaker in there. But we didn't see anything on there. So let's look at um, we are on three right now. If the resistor packs are okay then all the other wires should be connected to each other through the various resistors but either way we'll look at three um, which they will call themselves uh, M2 um, because that's low would be like yeah um, so the light blue let's check the light blue for a ground uh, where are we right there human there we go we got ground there we got ground there we got ground there yeah, let's check the orange too ground there ground everywhere but this guy so that means we have a ground we have a ground here we have ground here we have ground here we have ground here these all should be connected through various resistors so our test light might not be as bright but all of these should have continuity 
this one doesn't. So either our circuit breaker is blown somewhere in here, or we have a burnt terminal. So let's pull this off. So I've been working away at that resistor. I can't seem to get it unplugged, which means we are going to have some burnt terminals, more than likely. Um, I switched my test light to a ground. So these are supposed to be grounds, but this orange one on the end goes directly to the blower motor. And as we suspected, it is seeing the power through the blower motor. So there is a path through there which further proves that there's a break in this, either in the connector or on that circuit breaker, because this wire here that goes to the blower motor is seeing the path through it. So if we were to jump our uh, ground right there, not just a um, test site ground, but an actual ground, that blower will probably spin. Let's try that. So we've got a ground. Let's see what happens. Yep. We got a resistor and or connector issue. Not a blower. Yeah, so this is really hard to get off. I'm using these spreaders. And oh, let's see if we can do it while you're here. When it starts to move, finally, I hear the scrunchy sounds. Like that. And that usually means that. Which sucks because we can't get one of these connectors today. That's overnight. But it is what it is. A lot of times this is what happens. It usually burns up both. And you gotta replace both. So, not much we can do. Um, if you try and clean that up, usually it'll just burn again. You get um, corrosion, which makes a bad connection, which means resistance, which means heat. And uh, it might work for a little bit, but it'll just happen again. So, yeah, we'll need to replace this as well. So against my better judgment, a uh, customer doesn't want to wait a day. They quote unquote gotta go, but you know what? They make the decisions. So we are just gonna clean that up as best we can does seem like maybe there's enough metal there to make some kind of contact um, hopefully it stays on um, so we just got our diamond files we'll go through clean it up really good and then afterwards usually what I'll do is I'll take something like one of these picks and I'll dig up underneath the tongue of that terminal on any of them that seems to be down a little bit so this one over here, I know it's not the best, but um, you're not really going to be able to pull these out very well anymore. Yeah, so you just want to tighten up those terminals a little bit, any of them that seem to be down a little bit. It's hard to see, but this tongue all the way at the back is up. We got kind of underneath and pulled it up, and that'll help it make a little bit of better connection for now. Um, and yeah, you can just do what you got. You can only do what you can do. Um, this will have no problem working for a while. Uh, hopefully it will last a few years, but you know what, it might only last six months, um, in which case we'd have to do it all over again, but um, you know what, even if we do, it's not the end of the world, life moves on, this, this car will move on too. Thanks for watching.